Welcome back traders, Ali Casey here from Star Oasis channel. Thank you for joining me. This video is about answering a couple of questions sent by viewers of the channel. And I love these questions as they help other traders who are probably shy to send their questions. And they also let you think about uh, puzzles as you know, programming is all about solving puzzles. So I hope you find them useful and let's jump in. Welcome back traders, Ali Casey here from Star Oasis channel. Thank you for joining me. Before we continue, I would like to ask you to please smash the like button and subscribe, hit the notification bell, share the video with your friends as this will help the channel a lot. I really appreciate it, thanks. Now, today's video is about answering a couple of questions sent by viewers of the channel. And uh, question one is, Hi, I have one question. How do you build a template with fuzzy logic? I want to create a fixed variable and the rest with fuzzy logic. Is this possible? Sent by uh, Hablemos, which <laughs> it's not a name because I think in Spanish, uh, probably talk or let's talk. So let's do, let's deal with question number one, which is uh, you have like a variable, you have a, an indicator, whatever. You want to have that and add to it. So the easiest way to do this, of course, you go into Algo Wizard and you switch the advanced to template. When you switch template, you know that you don't have any more options. So let's do a simple one. Uh, maybe the close is higher than the close one bar ago. Let's say we want this example and then we will make it as a template. Let's uh, generate randomly from one to 10, step one. So that's the uh, shift that's gonna happen. So close greater than close one day ago, two days ago, three days ago, so on and so forth. And let's confirm and let's save this as a template. And you cannot see the template because it's on the other screen. <laughs> But it's saved. And now we go to Builder and in full setting, we pick the strategy template. And it's already picked. Now if we test, and I have some tests before I'm going to show you, but let's. this is the last one, just remember. So let's test what ha what's happened here. Okay, we got many. So if we pick, this is the first one. So let's see the logic. So the logic is close greater than close two bars ago, and nine bars ago, and eight bars ago. This is what we expect. The template, the uh, SQX builder will follow this template, meaning that you cannot add uh, fuzzy logic to it. There is no way to do that, even though it's already picked here. And the reason is clear because and the reason is clear because that's the whole reason of the template. So then the next way to do this is through a simple strategy default. And then when we go to full setting, we go to trading uh, building blocks. And now you can pick any one of these. So in case I want to do this one, then I have to save this as a custom block. So you do the custom block as let's say close, or for example, I have this one. So I highlighted this is, this is the candle patterns. I have a video, there should be a link to it in the corner. Uh, it's basically custom blocks and that's what you want. You wanna build your own custom block and then you import them and then they will show in the builder and the blocks. Okay, so let's assume this is the block we want. Assume you build your own indicator, your own uh, pattern, your own uh, price action block. And let's assume it's this one, it's Doji. So now I want the fuzzy logic to always include Doji and other indicators, which in this case we have 19 blocks, 19 uh, indicators and 22 stop limit uh, blocks. So if we go back to what to build, and in this, uh, this case, I'm gonna pick simple strategy. And then you come to strategy style and you pick the fuzzy logic. Now, what is fuzzy logic before we continue? I actually built some uh, strategies uh, to show you. So the normal strategy 
let's say we pick this one. This is a normal strategy where there is a long entry signal, short entry signal. As you can see, it's very simple. In this case, it's one condition. Fuzzy logic picks a number of uh, conditions. And then if uh, a fixed percentage of them are true, then the signal will happen. Basically, it's like an ensemble of signals. Let's say you want to combine, you know, you want the uh, moving average, confirming the RSI, confirming the ADX, and but you don't want all of them to be true. You want some percentage of them to be true. So in this case, for example, the fuzzy, fuzzy logic decided if 50%, 57% uh, of the conditions are true, which is two out of four, because 50 per, uh, 57 on four conditions, that's basically four, uh, two. And so if two of these are correct, then the long entry signal is true. So that's what fuzzy logic is. And basically the idea is you want, let's say, to fix this. For example, I want to always trade on Monday and then whatever else. And when we do this now, uh, like I showed you, so now, right now I'm picking the doji pattern. And let me delete uh, the, these guys. And now let's build some strategies. So these will be fuzzy logic. Okay, I'm going to stop it. And we have some strategies. So let's look at the strategies. So you can see this one doesn't have the uh, doji block. And the next one doesn't have it. Next one. This one also doesn't have it. This was this is a different uh, pattern. And this one doesn't have it. And this one is also doesn't have it. So you can see out of, of course, we only did uh, three, uh, five strategies, but you can see n n of the five, none of them had the option, the doji. But of course, if I keep the system running, it will generate some strategies with doji pattern. So how can we force SQX to have this pattern in all strategies? Well, the current way, the only way I know to do it is through uh, forcing SQX to think about the weights. So you can see here, there is a weight column. And if I increase this to, let's say 50, that I'm telling SQX treat this 50 times more important than whatever the next block is. So if we go, I don't know. Uh, so for example, this block. So I'm telling SQX, this is 50 times more important. So obviously then this block will show up more. But there is one caveat to this and I will show you how, what. Let's build some strategies with this. And let's see now what we have. So you can see this one has doji, but it also has two more dojis, which are the same. And let's pick another one. This one doesn't have it. This one also has it, but this time it's four times. And if you check this, it is a copy of uh, the one before. So there is no difference in these dojis because remember, unless you want to shift doji, that's it. But see, this one shifted by one and this is shifted by one. This one shifted by three and this one shifted by three. So this bug in SQX, I've seen it before happen even with normal blocks where it repeats the condition. And, and you can see it here, it's repeating this one and also it's repeating this one. And then let's check another one. Here it's alone. So this is what we are looking for. We are looking for this to be combined with something else. And here we can also, also see only one. And here we can also see only one. Just remember you have to read through the strategies because some strategies will have a repeated pattern and few strategies will not have the block that you want. So the weight does work, except that there is this bug where it might repeat the 
the condition more than once and sometimes uh, it will not have it at all so let me delete this and here I can uh, show you that what I did this is a simple strategy this is the close greater than the close and uh, this is what I'm telling you again because I did the test before and you can see that it, it repeats the pattern this block I didn't put any shift in it so you can see all of them are one and then when I added the shift it started to repeat them uh, less often and uh, for example this one I forced SQX to use Monday and Tuesday only and you can see here that there is Monday and Tuesday and then here you can see that again it repeated Monday and it repeated uh, sorry it repeated Monday three times so obviously all these three are the same and then here it had only uh, Monday and then here it had only Tuesday and here it has Monday and Tuesday so you can see most of the time it will do what you'd like it to do but you just have to read through the strategies to make sure that you remove the strategies that has the repeated condition like this one now we go to the second question the second question is can you show us a custom project which before it puts the strategies in final data bank weed out losing days basically this is looking for bias so you're looking for the strategies performing let's say really good during the week but it loses on all Mondays so you don't want to use Mondays the current structure of SQX when you do cross check the cross check is only filtering the results meaning you cannot change the logic in the cross check so I cannot force SQX to say well this strategy is not performing well on Monday then how about you switching off Monday but I can tell SQX to filter out the losing strategies on Monday meaning don't change the code because I cannot change the code but I can let's say at least isolate them isolate them or delete them and the way to do this of course I'm assuming you know how to build the uh, projects and if you don't know there is a video on how to build custom projects uh, but for the sake of uh, speed I'm not going to build the project but I'm going to show you how to add that block to the project so if we go to cross check and let's pick uh, I so I put a strategy here uh, so this is a strategy that loses on Wednesday and Thursday and let's say this is in a data bank full of strategies and I want to get rid of those strategies that loses on some days so then we go to the uh, we go to the cross check we switch on what if simulation and then in the settings we click on trade only in days and then you pick one so for example let's pick Monday so Monday now is profitable we know Monday is profitable and we filter on that the net profit is greater than zero so I'm looking for strategies that have net profit greater than zero and I'm gonna limit that to Monday so in this case when I test and retest selected and if I test this this should pass and we can see it's pass and remember here you need to put a what if I created this data bank and I you can create this here basically what you want to do is the net profit should be for what if simulation you cannot do net profit main data because it will not show up you need to show this and this is the net profit so we know now the Monday is 19 a and I can prove this to you because if uh, we go to this to the original strategy we can see Monday is 19,080 so now let me test it on Wednesday which should fail so let's go back cross check and let me pick now Wednesday and save now if I test and and see in the portfolio it should fail so let's go progress test and it failed of course because it loses money on Wednesday 7,344 to be exact and we can check this and it's correct 7000 so you can add this block in your workflow to test 
every day of the week. So each day of the week will be one block. You can add it. But then you can save all these strategies in a data bank. So Mondays are losing. It will, let's say, store them in Mondays. You create a data bank that's Monday. You create another data bank, let's say, for Tuesday. Or you put them all in one data bank. And these will be the fail strategies that, that passed everything else but fails on certain days. Then you can easily come here, like once you have them, I know the strategy is good, but it shouldn't trade on Wednesday. Then you can bring this back in and change the code to not trade on Wednesdays. Now, I know this is a little bit fast, but I hope you got the gist of it. And maybe in a separate video, we will do the whole project separately. Great, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you find the, the video useful. As always, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell as this will help the channel grow. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them through email, uh, through the Discord channel, or through comments on the uh, YouTube videos below. As always, good luck with your trading. Good luck with your investing. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon.